Hey, it's Mr. Marshall again. So, last time we talked about nines. Today we're going to talk about um, fours. Okay. And we're going to do some of the same work. So first, remember what we did last time? We talked about um, solving the ones we know just like that first. Okay. So I just did one. Four times one I know is four because any number of times one is the number. And four times ten is forty. Right? Because I just add a zero. I need a new marker. Sorry. Okay. So it's 40. Um, I know that 4 times 5 is 20. Because when I look at the clock and I see that the minute hand is on the 5, it's 20 minutes. And I know 4 times 4 is 16 because, because uh, I know my doubles. I remember the doubles. All right. 4. That's all that I know just like that. Um, oh, wait, I know 4 times 2 because I know that's 4 and 4, so that's 8. Okay, here we go. What else? Now I want to think about the ones that take me just a second to think about. So I know 4 times 6 is, well, it's 4 more than this one, so that's going to be 24. And then I know I add 4 more to that, and that's 28. 4 times 7 is 28, 4 times 7 is 28, 4 times 7 is 28. Okay, and so I just did 9s. So remember, 9 times 4 was 36. So now I just have 2 left, right? So I can just add 4 and subtract 4. 4 times 8 is 32. 4 times 3, oh yeah, 12. Okay, so here we go. Time to think about patterns. Um, last time we talked about evens and odds. Let's see if the same thing happens. Even, 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 even. It looks like they're all even. 20, 24, 28, 32. Yeah, they're all even. That's different this time, right? What else? Let's look at the ones column, right? Four, eight, two, six, zero. Four, eight, two, six, zero. It repeats, but it's a different kind of pattern. So the ones, four, eight, two, six, zero, every time. It's like I'm adding four. Four and four is eight. Two and six is, two and four is six, right? Let's look at the tens column now. Tens are one, one, two, two, two. Did you see that? One, one, two, two, two. So there was two and then three. Three, three, four. I bet you the next ones would go four, four. It's one, one, two, 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 three, three, four, four, four. So the tens column go one, one, two, 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 three, three, four, four, four. It's got a nice rhythm to it, doesn't it? Okay, what else? Um, do you see anything else? I'm seeing it's like when I count by twos, it goes two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. It's like I'm skipping my twos, right? So let's call that skipping twos because everyone knows how to count by two, right? Most people do. And so that's an easy thing to think about here. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Hmm. Interesting. Let's go, let's go look at the hundreds chart now. Let's look at the hundreds chart. Where's my other hundreds chart? Um let's take a look at it. So I'm gonna color my fours in red. Okay, here we go. So I've got Four, eight. Can you see? 
12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40. Wow, this is such a different kind of pattern, isn't it? Remember last time with the nines, it was like a staircase? This is different. This is almost like one of those checkered tablecloths, right? It's like a checkerboard. Let's keep going. Well, what's going to be next? 44, 48. 52, 56, 60. So I'm going to just keep filling this in. I want you to think about what you notice in this picture. Okay. Think about what you notice in this. And there now I've filled them all in. Look at that. Such a different pattern than last time. So what are you noticing? Like I'm noticing, it's like a checkerboard, right? Anything else that you notice? Did you notice that there are certain columns that never have any numbers colored? The ones column, threes column, the fives column, it's like all the odd number columns are just white. They're not colored in at all. So the odd columns are blank, aren't they? Mm -hmm. hmm. And what else? Look at this. I'm noticing that one, two, three are white, four is colored. Five, six, seven are white, eight is colored. Nine, 10, 11 are white, 12 is colored. So it's like every fourth one is colored. Huh. Really interesting. What else do you notice? Do you notice other things? Yeah, you know what I'm seeing? <laughs> this row right here on top, how many are colored? One, two. And then on the next row, one, two, three, and then the next one, one, two, and then the next one, one, two, three. Do you see that? What do you think the next one's going to be? You think it's going to be two? Let's see if it's two. One, two, you're right. One, two, three. So the rows, Rows are colored two, three, two, three times, right? I said that that way you could say it however makes sense to you, but you see what I'm talking about, right? So interesting. So interesting. And like, there's a lot of other things you could notice. Like, like this is colored here, and the 12, and the 14, the 24, the 32. It's like they're not the same as each other, like going down. There's lots of different patterns here, right? So see if you notice any other patterns. Hit pause on the video, and then um, we're going to do one more thing. OK, so now we're back. We're going to do one more thing today. Ready? So last time we had this, the nines, and today we did the fours. I wonder what about the numbers that are both? Let's think about that. So I'm going to I'm going to use my fours chart and I'm going to color in all the nines on here too. So let's do that. I'm going to color in See this? I'm coloring the nines blue and I'm coloring the fours red. See what's going on? See the staircase is starting? Wait a minute. 36. That's already colored in. I have to color it blue too cuz that's a 9. So, wow, it's kind of a little different. It's purple, right? Let's keep going. 45, 54, 63, 
72. It's colored in red and it's colored in blue. It's kind of like purple, right? 81. 90. 99. Now take a look at this board. It's funny how the staircase and the checkerboard go together. But there's those two numbers, 36. Where are we? 36 and 72 that are both. And they're kind of like a little darker. They're purple because I colored it in red and I colored it in blue. You want to know what that's called? I'll tell you. When something is both a 4 and a 9 or both multiples of, of two different numbers, we call that common multiples common multiples you need that a lot when you're in fourth grade and fifth grade and sixth grade you need to know that stuff okay that's what that is common multiples are 36 and 72 you have to know that and there's some numbers that get colored in a lot when you do these there's some numbers that get colored in a lot. Those are like the busiest numbers in multiplication because they come up on all different times tables. Did you know that? Now you know it. I bet if you did this with one more number, you would find that 36 might get used again or 72 might get used again. Why don't you go try that? Okay, so remember what we did today. We looked at our patterns and fours. We colored it in on the hundreds chart, and then we used the fours and the nines together to see what we noticed about that, okay? And you can keep doing that with as many numbers as you can and learn a whole lot about how numbers work in multiplication, all right? Go try some of that out, and I'll see you next time.